Honorable Speaker, sir, I'm extremely grateful Chairman, to Chairman. you for having given me this opportunity to speak on this very important bill, Consumer Protection Bill 2019. At the outset, I would like to congratulate Honorable Prime Minister and Honorable Minister for bringing this bill to this August House for deliberation and discussion. So with all conviction at my command, I would definitely like to say that this particular bill with eight chapters and about 107 clauses, if implemented well, will be a game changer for consumer and consumer interests in our country. Sir, I would definitely say that this particular bill is an expression of the fact that here is a smart government which believes in smart governance. So this bill is not new to Lok Sabha. This bill had already been brought to Lok Sabha and it was cleared by the Lok Sabha on 20th of December 2018. And this bill, if you go through, speaks of rigorous preparation and all concerns, all issues, all suggestions that had been put forth have been incorporated as far as possible by the Honorable Minister and his ministry. In fact, sir, it was sent to the Parliamentary Standing Committee and it was also sent to the group of ministers. And the Parliamentary Standing Committee made 37 recommendations, as has already been pointed out. And out of these 37 recommendations, 32 recommendations have been incorporated. And I also convey my very sincere appreciation to Honorable Minister and his ministry for taking into account 80 official amendments. And they have left no stone unturned in ensuring that this bill is enriched as far as possible. So there are three major goals as we know of this bill. One, to prevent violation of consumer rights. Number two, to check illegal practices, trade practices, and to check uh, illegal business ethics. And of course, last but not the least, to prevent, to stop, to curb, false, misleading advertisements. Yeh prastavit vidhayak obhoktao ke adhikaro ka sambardhan karne, sanrakshit karne, aur pravrit karne, anuchit vyapar vyabharo se parishan, obhoktao ko nuksan se bachane, aur mitcha evam bhamak vidyapan ko band karne ke disha mein ek sashakt kadam hai. Sir, if we go through this bill, the consumer and the consumer interests are the focal points and all the proposed actions are intended to protect, promote and enforce consumer interests. Now, sir, there can be a question in the House and in fact I have been sitting since morning and I have heard this is a question. Why this particular bill when there was Consumer Protection Act 1986? A very valid question. But sir, here there are two reasons which I would just like to highlight very briefly. Number one reason, sir, in today's world, consumer markets and services have undergone drastic transformation. We are talking of 1986 and we are talking of 2019. The, the modern marketplace has plethora of goods and services and uh, this kind of situation at the moment has made the consumers very vulnerable to new forms of unfair trade and unethical business practices. We have to agree to this. So we have been talking about different kinds of marketing and we have also talked about the kind of problems that are arising. Misleading advertisement, telemarketing, multi-level marketing, direct selling and e-commerce pose new challenges to the consumers and definitely it stands in the way of consumer interests. And this is the need of this kind of bill, sir. There is the need for amendment of the Act. Now, second and most important reason is, sir, there have been district consumer forums, state consumer forums, national consumer forum, but the fact remains that there is very, very slow disposal of cases. Very slow disposal of cases, and that is detrimental to the interests of the consumers. So today, it has already been pointed out by my esteemed colleagues from this side and that Consum side. Consumer commissions are taking more than more time than that of the courts. Absolutely, sir. So 4,61,000 cases await disposal. 
this is extremely unfortunate. I mean, this is from the National Commission website that all of us have actually got the information from. Uh, so we need quick disposal of cases. We need to enforce the rights of the consumers, and that is why this act. So at the cost of being repetitive, I would just like to point out a couple of things which are extremely important, the salient features of this particular bill which has been tabled today. So number one, and which is the most important thing, and many people, in fact, from my right side have been speaking against it, is the CCPA, the Central Consumer Protection Authority. Sir, we need swift executive interventions. When something of this kind happens, violation of consumer rights takes place, or there is a misleading false advertisement, we need to move swiftly. We have not been able to move swiftly, and this is the problem with all of us, and that is why this act. So, sir, CCPA is a great thing which has been conceptualized, and it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing in the sense that we are talking of chief commissioner and commissioners, and we are talking of regional branches. So there is no question of saying that, you know, everything is centralized. So number two wonderful thing is the product liability concept. We have to have product liability action, and this is a new thing which is very much part of this bill. There has to be product liability action in case a product is deficient or a product is found to be harmful to the consumer. So third and most important is the, is the issue of mediation which has been brought in again. This is to speed up the disposal of cases. We have to talk of alternative dispute resolution mechanism. Oh, so fourth, the oh, bill provides please. for several provisions in simplifying the consumer dispute adjudication process. So our friends who talked against the CCPA, I would definitely like to mention before them, I'll just take two, three minutes, sir. I would definitely oh. like to mention before them that other countries have certain best practices, and it's always large-heartedness and broad-mindedness, which makes India adopt some of the best practices. So USA has the Federal Trade Commission. Australia has the Competition and Consumer Commission. Please. And Finland has Competition and Consumer Authority. This particular bill is very much pro-consumer. We are talking of deemed admissibility of complaints in 21 days of the filing of the complaint uh, by the opposite party, sir. We are talking of ease in filing. The yes. e-filing system is there. Mediation and product liability is there, sir. Oh, have sir, the concluding remarks, please. Yes, please. sir. No. The concluding Thank remarks. Please. I would conclude with supporting the bill. Words of words of Henry Ford. Ford Motors, sir. He said, "Coming together is beginning. Keeping together is progress." and working together is success. We all need to work together. We all need to resolve today to support this Thank you. comprehensive bill, which is very much in the interest of consumer and consumer interest.